Hey guys, what is going on? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Thanks for checking it out. Really appreciate it. And uh, bear with me as I kind of record from the PC. I've never really done this before. I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to learn on the fly, but I appreciate everybody for sticking w uh, with me. Uh, yeah, so the video today is going to be a, an opinion piece, just like yesterday's video. Um, it's a topic I've had on my mind for quite some time, and I wanted to discuss it here, so I'm interested in seeing people's comments about about it. So, basically, you see the title of the video, Is it acceptable to review a game without beating the campaign or playing the other modes? Um, and I think to that answer, I'm going to answer it the way I do. I would say absolutely, positively not. If you have not beaten the game, campaign-wise, you know, if it's Rise and Zero Dawn and you have not beaten the game, you cannot review that game. If you have played Halo Wars 2 and you've only beaten a couple levels and played none of the multiplayer, you should not be reviewing that game. You guys will notice my videos that I do, whether it's for the indie games that a lot of people don't like and a lot of people do or the AAA games that come out because I play everything you'll notice how I talk about the ones that I review and the ones that I actually just talk about I'll have like my Halo Wars 2 it's called Halo Wars 2 review and you want to know why I call it a Halo Wars 2 review because I beat the fucking game I beat all 12 levels I played about 20 matches of Blitz I played some of the multiplayer I played enough for the game to form an opinion on it an informed opinion as well, because I feel if you're only playing a couple levels, you're not informed. And then when you make the, the review, you're not informing your listeners. But then you'll look at some of the other stuff, like um, the other, uh, in, in my gaming impressions things, where I'll call, like, MX Nitro, for instance, the last, like, indie game I kind of spotlighted. I title it MX Nitro Impressions and Gameplay. And I talk about, and I usually give an overview of that game. I tell people about it. I tell my uh, viewers my initial thoughts on the game. But I never score a game. I never give it the score. I, I just talk about uh, you know, how I feel when I'm playing it, if I'm currently enjoying it, if I'm not enjoying it, things may I like or I don't like. But I never review something that I haven't finished. And I see this as kind of a big problem on YouTube and some of the, the media uh, big media websites, and I, I asked this question, is it acceptable to review something if you've never, if you haven't completed the entire package? And I'm going to repeat myself again. I think the answer to that is hell no. I don't care how you spin it or what way you say it's, you know, oh, well, it's fine for me because of this reason. No, I'm sorry, it's not. Unless you say in your review somewhere, now I, I, I'll grant you this caveat or whatever the word is that in your review if you say somewhere I only played up to such and such if you make mention that this is my review but I've only played two levels or this is my review but I played none of the multiplayer um, then okay fine as long as you make sure your readers know and make sure that your listeners know that hey I haven't really played this game at all so they know that you, they shouldn't take your opinion on it seriously, then fine. I'm, I I, I kind of think that, that, that right there, if you do that one thing, if you make sure people know how much of the game you've played, then okay, I'm fine with you putting out a quote-unquote review of a game you only played a couple levels of, as long as you disclose the information in it. But if you're trying to, I don't know, hide the information, right? Speak in general generalities, or is that even a word? You know, but speak in kind of basic tones that somebody who hasn't played the game and who's just watched from videos would speak in. Then that's where the issue comes in. Because honestly, I've said this before on other podcasts when people have asked me this question: Would you review a movie after the first ten minutes? Now, I'm not saying that you wouldn't know if you don't like the movie or if you like or wouldn't like the movie after 10 minutes. That is very true. There's movies I knew within the first 15 minutes, I'm not going to like this movie, right? I'm I'm leaving. But I wouldn't review the movie. I didn't see the whole thing. Um, there are games I play, indie games, where as soon as I load up the game and I see that menu, I played so many games, I can usually judge the quality of said game 
just by the menu screen. I know I'm not going to like it. And, and even still, I'm not going to review the game. I, maybe it's because I hold myself up to a higher standard. I will not review a game until I'm completely done with the campaign, until I've played all the multiplayer modes a good bunch to get a grasp of what the game offers so I can, you know, tell my viewers who respect my opinion and who look to me for, I know this is kind of weird to say, but for guidance maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why anybody listens to me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't go sit down and watch uh, a Best Picture nominee and, 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 and after 15 minutes be like, well, that's a that's an 8.5 out of 10. How would you know? You haven't seen the whole thing. You haven't experienced the game. Like, take Halo Wars 2, for instance, right? If you only played a couple levels in that game and decided to review it, you wouldn't know that the gameplay evolves. You wouldn't know that there are drastic changes to the campaign structure throughout the 12 levels. You wouldn't even know how the story went. How could you possibly say anything about, you know, how it relates to Halo 6, potentially, right? Because in in Halo Wars 2, and I bring this up because it's a recent game, but there are levels that are completely different from one another. There, there, There are campaign levels that are basically multiplayer. They take multiplayer modes and put them on the campaign, and those are terrible, but those are a little bit later in the game. You wouldn't know that if you didn't play through the game, and maybe your opinion of said game would change based on that fact. And that's why I always wait to the end of the game until I form my opinion. Like a game, uh, for instance, Inside. I really enjoyed Inside. I, would I would it have been okay for me to like stop two hours in and be like game of the game of the year, game of the generation? Of course not, because who knows how the last half goes. There's a lot of games that falter, like Resident Evil, Resident Evil Seven, a recent game I played, played it when it first came out, loved it. The first two thirds of that game, easily nine nine point five, right? I was in love with Resident Evil Seven. Oh, but then you get to that back third, and for anybody who knows what I'm talking about. I know you're not in your heads right now. and But that back third brings it down. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't play through the campaign. So when you review a game and you don't finish the game, you're giving bad info. You're giving bad advice. And your readers and your you know, your, your subscribers on YouTube, you're doing them a disservice. Not only them, but you're doing yourself a disservice. So that's that's all I gotta really say about that, guys. Like, you know, I'm always gonna be upfront. My review is basically I only review games when I finish them, and if I don't, they're called impressions because that's how it is. I don't want to deceive anybody. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Is it okay for people to review a game only after a couple levels? Is it okay for people only for people to review a movie after only 15 minutes? Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content, and I will see everybody later.